Well, good Sunday evening. It's feeling more fall like out there, at least for our evening temperatures. Not so sure it felt like fall today, especially with it being October 1st and our daytime highs for some of us were just a scotch a degree or two below 90. So definitely above average, but we are sliding back comfortably into some of those lower and mid 60s out there tonight. We do have a clear sky, so if you are traveling, watch out for some of those areas of patchy fog that will form, especially before midnight. So our temperature and dew points right now starting too near one another. So that's how you get the magic of fog. You get those clear sky and of course the light wind that also help with the formation of that. But a little further to the south, Cape Dorado sitting at 70 degrees on the dot further back towards our south and west Popper Bluff sitting at 68. Not doing too bad out there. It's a beautiful evening for a walk, so if you can get out there and enjoy the beautiful weather out there, enjoy it while you can because we are going to notice a change in the weather and some of you actually might want to be outside a little bit more because of what is to come. So a calm evening tonight. We are ending the weekend warm and dry, which sadly is not great news, but it has been nice for those of you who wanted to get outside and enjoy it. We are going to still remain dry as we go into the first part of our work week, but we will be noticing those cooler temperatures slide in along with that change in the weather, like I mentioned. So going over the nighttime hours, I mentioned our temperatures dipping a little bit lower back into those lower 60s. Some of us might even wake up a little bit cooler than that Mount Vernon. I'm calling you guys out sitting into those mid and upper 50s. So a little bit cool out there to wake you up. We are going to be mostly sunny, although portions of southeast Missouri may notice partly cloudy sky form by the late afternoon, but temperature highs by the afternoon time back into those mid and upper 80s still feeling well above fall temperature. Some of us might even see those lower 90s. Again, that's off down to the south. Monday evening, another clear sky. We are still watching for those meteor showers, so don't forget to get out there and try to look up at the clear sky and see it. I know even the moon was out <laughs> beautiful out there tonight, so send in your photos, but temperatures going back into those cooler lower 60s, but our average high, we are staying into those mid 70s for that anyway, but we are going to be above average in our temperatures to start us off through the mid part of our work week, staying into those upper 80s by mid 80s by the midweek. Then we go below average temperatures by at least a degree there for Thursday, sitting at 76. But we are going to watch our temperatures go from almost the 90s to the 80s, 70s, and down to the 60s as we get to next weekend. And that's all ahead of a cold front. That cold front will also be bringing us our next system. Now we're going to be looking at some isolated showers potentially for southeast Missouri. Then that'll transition over for Thursday, which we look to be more scattered and widespread. Could be bringing a good chance of a shower and of course some storms. We really do need that rain out there, especially because it's been so dry. So in the next seven to 10 days, we are going to be going through a little bit of a temperature change. I mean, look at that by the weekend. We are looking at temperatures being back into the 40s. That makes you get out there and feel a little bit more fall like mm -hmm. you got to get the bonfire conditions out there. Now, Danny, today is also National Pumpkin Spice Day. Is it really? It is. And so we put out a poll. <laughs> do you love it? Is it you? Do you feel neutral to it? Well, a lot of you, here's the results, drum roll. A lot of you loved it. Of wow. course, I knew that Not would be surprising. the answer. <laughs> I love it though. In second place came you. Third was neutral, so they're into the blue. It's not too much of a difference, but a lot of you guys sternly said you love it. Well, speaking of pumpkin spice day, did you know that all you pumpkin lovers, it's actually been really crazy as far as our weather goes. And so I'm showing you the drought monitor right now because right now for farmers, it's harvest season. And there are some farmers still in the region who are planting and looking at their pumpkin patches and going, gee, it's really dry out there. So when you're out there, I actually went out to Bandy's pumpkin patch last Wednesday. Now that's in Johnson City. And they told me that they planted on time by the end of June. They had the drought in the spring, floods by July, and we did see the extreme heat and then back to drought again. Sadly, we're looking to stay dry. So if you're going out for your pumpkin needs, sadly, some of the pumpkin patches aren't seeing oh, but a those great look so good, year. Though. I know, and but they do have variety. This is Bandy's yet again. Yeah, that's a good. A lot yeah. of the patches actually do have a good variety, growing their own and having some be shipped in. Now, pumpkins are really easy to grow is what they tell me, and they need at least temperatures into the mid and upper 80s, sunshine, and at least an inch of rain spread out through a period of time. Mm -hmm. Sadly, of course, you look back to spring, summer, and now going to the fall, it's just not been a good season. Yeah, and thankfully, though, they do have, it, it looks to me like an abundance, though. They it, have it looks a great good. selection. I, I, I'll have to go someday because I, I haven't been there in a couple of years. I have to go back. Get your jack-o'-lantern on. Yeah, and my <laughs> apple cider, too. Thank you, Emily.